Hey y'all, welcome to Cooking with Coach Amy. In this video, we're gonna go over how to make an on-plan Southern Thanksgiving pecan pie. Now, can you have pecan pie anytime? Absolutely, but you must have it at Thanksgiving, at least at our house. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this done. I found an amazing recipe from my Montana kitchen. I love her recipes, and I've always enjoyed the things that I've made from her website, so I wanted to share this with y'all to kind of give you um, just a how to maybe kind of take the edge off the fear of trying this. Um, maybe if you're new to THM and you want an on plan option for the holidays, this would be a great one. Now, this is a three recipe recipe because we're gonna make the pie crust, we're gonna make um, some sweetened condensed milk, which is part of the filling, and then the filling bake the pie. So it's a little bit of a process, but we're gonna get it done together. So the first thing that we're gonna do, um, when you go to the recipe that I'm gonna link in the caption, it's My Montana Kitchen. The first thing says one recipe of flaky low carb pie crust. Now she got that recipe from a website called Low Carb Maven, and um, I will link that in addition to um, the My Montana Kitchen. It says it is a, it's a flaky low carb pie crust recipe. Um, it's perfect for sweet pies or a savory quiche. It's gluten free. Um, and it's nicer than pressing crust. And okay, now how fun is this? We get to make sweetened condensed milk and stay on plan, guys. I mean, really, we're living the best life. So I've got my pan heating up, got my three ingredients for the sweetened condensed milk, two cups of heavy cream, a third of a cup of gentle sweet, and two tablespoons of butter. Now she does mention here that you can use a DIY version of Gentle Sweet and she has a link on her website. And this is the Mon My Montana Kitchen. Like I said, the sweetened condensed milk has a link on her website to this recipe. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna put all the ingredients in the pan. This is a rich dessert, y'all. This is not something I would normally have at all. I really try to limit dairy, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> I'm gonna cut up my butter a bit. And then we're going to sprinkle the gentle sweet in. Okay, we are going to bring this to a boil and we are going to then reduce and let it simmer. Um, it says it's gonna reduce to nearly half of its size and we're gonna stir it frequently to prevent scorching. Okay guys, the butter's starting to melt. I'm gonna give it a little stir. It's starting to heat up. You know, I do have this on a hot plate because of technical things with the camera and my <laughs> oven my stove rather. So um, it might take mine a little bit longer, but I know we'll get there. It's gonna be so worth it. Okay guys, so it's coming to a boil. It's starting to smell so good. So we're gonna let it get to our rolling boil and then we will reduce the heat and let it simmer for a bit. Okay y'all, mine's been going for about 15 minutes and because of this lovely hot plate, it's just taking a little longer. Um, I feel like if you do this on your stove top, it won't take longer. I'm going to wait about five more minutes and see where we're at. Meanwhile, I'm going to drink a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, guys. So I had to go to plan B on my pie crust. It did not work. So we're going to use the nut bake crust in the Trim Healthy Cookbook on page 325. I've done this several times and I'm happy with it. And that's what we're going to do. Um, it's just almond flour, egg white, And it calls for super sweet, but you'd have to grind it in a coffee grinder. I don't have that. So I'm just going to double the amount for a gentle sweet. I'm not really concerned about my crust being super, not super sweet the sweetener, but I'm not <laughs> concerned about it being super sweet crust because this amazing deliciousness and the pecan filling, oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing. 
All right, so we're just gonna mix this in. This is a press, oh yeah. This is what Coach Amy needs. <laughs> that other one was a lot of steps. I just, mm. I'm sure it's amazing. I'm not, I'm not there today, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that mixed up great. All right, so per the instructions of um, the other recipe that we were doing, I had the pie plate in the freezer. So I'm just gonna kinda roll with that. Oh yeah, I can work with this. <laughs> this is, a, like I said, nut baked crust. It's an S, page 325, Trim Healthy Cookbook. That mixed up great. Y'all, this looks so good. Like I could eat it with a spoon, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of heavy S, we were trying to talk about that earlier, I believe. <laughs> So I don't do much heavy S. I have um, Hashimoto's, you know, thyroid condition and uh, having a lot of gluten and a lot of, um, you know, dairy just really isn't something that is good for my body. And so I really try to reduce that. But in the, on the holidays, I feel like if I want to have a small serving of this, it's totally cool. You know what I'm saying? Spread the love. Or even just in general, like treases. Um, I enjoy those from time to time. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off because I don't think it needs to be heating up anymore. Okay, so it does take a second to work this crust, but holy smokes, it is so much more simpler for me as a pure drive-through Sioux um, than the other recipe that I attempted and failed epically. It was terrible. What is that? the girls to dance <laughs> on my phone there was a reminder and I'm like I don't have any client calls today all right so I'm not gonna bake this yet because this pie plate was frozen I don't want to make it upset I'm gonna try to get my pie crust to be a little bit higher around the edges and make sure that the bottom of it is not too thick in spots All right, friends, I finally got this pie crust looking the way I wanted it to. Yay, pie crust, so happy. Now we are going to pour this um, delicious, delicious sweetened condensed milk into this container. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. Let me wipe this off. This is just a little crumble from my crust. It's not gonna hurt a thing. All right, I think I'm going to play this safe and use my funnel. You can get this at the Wally World. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see how it did reduce by half? And she says the longer that it sits, the thicker and goopier and more deliciouser it will become. I'm gonna scrape all the amazingness in here. <gasps> oh, I slapped up. Okay, before we go on, y'all got to hear this reaction. Y'all, that's the stuff dreams are made of, I'm just saying. Okay, y'all, so I feel like I have a hot mess express up here, but this is going to be so great. Now, I've got my pie crust made. I'm going to prick it with a fork. And I'm going to put it in the oven to bake for five minutes. All right, friends, I kind of feel like I've ran a marathon because um, while this video hasn't been very long for you, it's been a long time for me. <laughs> but we are there, we are so there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare the filling for our pecan pie. I actually put the nut crust in the oven as the pecan pie recipe suggests. We pricked it with a fork, we baked it for five minutes, um, kind of set it, I guess. So fingers crossed this works. I'm going to put our sweetened condensed milk into this bowl. Still really hot. Ew. I am okay leaving some stuff in here, but y'all, I'm just, it's so good. I can't, mm, yum, 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 yum. 
Okay, we have uh, melted butter. So this has like, it's more than a whole stick of butter in this whole pie. Ooh, that's okay. We're gonna share it with everybody else, right? All right, and we're going to have a, one egg. Oh, I did that backwards. <laughs> Silly me. I'm telling y'all, it's been a long time. A teaspoon of vanilla. And our lovely pecans. Okay, so we're going to stir this up. Oh, it smells so good. Make sure that egg yolk got mixed up. You don't want to have a big blob of egg yolk in your pecan pie. Okay. We're going to pour this in here. I'm going to pour it real slow so I can make sure I got that egg yolk mixed up. Everything's yellow, so it's kind of hard to see. Okay, it did fine. All right, scrape all that goodness out, y'all. Mercy sakes. All right, we're going to bring this over front and center so you can see. And now we are going to sprinkle the chopped pecans over the filling. Well, I'm so glad that I remembered that nut crust and trim healthy cookbook that I've made before, or I would have been, as my daddy says, up a creek without a paddle. I'd have been at Thanksgiving without a pecan pie. Okay, so we're gonna bake this for 40 minutes, guys. Hey y'all, we're back. Look at this beautiful pecan pie. Ah, it's so gorgeous. I love it so much. Are you excited? So what did you call this? A chocolate pie. A chocolate pie. Tell them who you are. Uh, uh, What's your name? Uh, Knox, and he's, this is my four-year-old son, Knox, and he's gonna taste test with me. Are you ready? Uh, oh, it's gooey. Hold on, I'm gonna put some on the plate, hopefully. Uh, Okay, get those little crumbs. Y'all, it is gooey and it looks amazing. Stop, stop. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I'm not so sure that it's going to come out of the pie crust. Pie plate will. I can get it. Have a little piece. All right, it's kind of crumbly. But after my afternoon okay, making cool. this, I am totally I fine with that. Fork. It came out okay. I've got a fork. He does have a fork. Okay, so yeah. friends, tip, spray your pie plate. I didn't do that. Spray your pie plate? Mm. Spray it right now. Spray it with um coconut oil spray. Okay, you can have some. Mm. It's so good. Do you like it? Let's get some of the crust. Okay. Hey, crust. It's good. Mmm. You got a pecan. I don't like the crust. Yeah, that's a pecan. I want the crust. Do you want to hear? Mm-hmm. We are done. I think it could still be sweeter. And got a pumpkin. So I might try some. Next and we got week, a pumpkin. We do have a pumpkin. Wait. Mm. It's still good. Wait, we have a pumpkin. Come right here. Okay. So, what did Mama make? What kind of nut is it? Pecan. Pecan pie. Yeah, and it was really good. Definitely, we need to stop, please. Mm -hmm. We need to spray our pan so that it comes out. I mean, it didn't do too bad. Um, there. You see. I probably will make it in my um, Pampered Chef Stone Pie Plate next time and um, may even sprinkle a little super sweet across the top okay, just to make bye it bye. a little crispier on the bye top bye. of the sugar. Bye, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you try this pecan pie from my Montana kitchen. And happy Halloween.